Hey, so I made a huge mistake, alright. So I was in the middle of filming Martinsville and spring break happened, so I went home and I took my cars home to film Talladega, and when I came back I, I completely lost my Bobby Hamilton black Kodak car. So mid-race there will be a switch in cars. He'll be going from his black Kodak car to his regular yellow Kodak car that I used in Talladega. So I don't know where it went and it completely disappeared, so there will be a slight change in that. And also, I started filming Martinsville before Talladega, so that means Ted Musgrave and Robert Presley will not be in this race. So if you are the owners of those two cars, sorry, they will not be in this race. They will be in the last, uh, I believe, six six races. So um, I hope everybody enjoys this race. Everybody uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to the Goodies Body Pain 250 at Martinsville. We come to the paperclip in the ACS 1999 looking for some good hard short track racing action. This track has produced a lot of good racing over the years and we look to continue that here in the ACS. Check out some drivers to watch for here in Martinsville, Virginia. John Andretti on the pole for today's race, looking to be a very good upset pick in today's action. Bobby Labani closing in, trying to get that championship. He's got a good car today, look for him to run up front. Then Jeff Gordon, always good here at Martinsville. He'll be a force to reckon with come the finish of this race. Now for the command. Gentlemen, start your engines. John Andretti and Tony Stewart will fire their engines and roll off for the goodies. Body pain 250. Now for your starting lineup, John Andretti and Tony Stewart on the front row. And in row two, Jeff Gordon and Bobby Labonte. Row three, Jeff Burton and Mark Martin. And in row four, Kyle Petty and Bill Elliott. Sitting in row five today is Michael Waltrip and Dale Jarrett. And in row six, Bobby Hamilton and Dale Earnhardt Sr. Ernie Irvin and Mike Skinner in row seven. Kenny Irwin and Jeremy Mayfield in row eight. Sterling Marlin and Rusty Wallace in row nine for today's race. Jimmy Spencer and Wally Dallenbach in row 10. Kevin LePage, Steve Park sitting in row 11. Ward Burton and Terry Labonte in row 12. Row 13 is Kenny Wallace and Ken Schrader. And in row 14 is Chad Little and Joe Nemechek. Jerry Nadu, Ricky, or Matt Kenseth in row 15. Elliot Sadler and Derek Waltrip in row 16. Derek Cope and Johnny Benson row 17 for today's race. The field is set and we're ready to go. Green flag racing in Martinsville. Green flag is out for the goodies body pain 250. Off turn two is Tony Stewart with the race lead over John Andretti. He's going to clear him off of turn four. Stewart takes lap one in Martinsville. Jeff Gordon all over the back bumper of John Andretti for the second position. John Andretti definitely got to block that low line, but Gordon gets an edge on him coming off of Ford into one and two. It's Gordon trying to take that second spot through three and four as they roll. Jeff Gordon claims that second spot over John Andretti. Mark Martin, Jeff Burton, your top five. There's Kyle Petty up to sixth early on. Bill Elliott's been falling back. He started right next to Kyle Petty in the eighth position. As the cars fly by through one and two. Off turn four, it's Tony Stewart with the race lead. We got a driver that's stuck on the high lane, had a great car for today's race. It's Bobby Labonte, finally gets down. He was stuck on that outside lane, definitely not where you want to be. You'll just get run over by that lane of traffic. Meanwhile, we got a battle for the race lead. It's Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart. Looking to the inside is Gordon. I guess they're always looking to the inside here at Martinsville. But now he's really getting to him. He gets to his bumper, gets Stewart out of the groove. Gordon to the race lead. Stewart runs over Gordon in turn one. Gordon up into the wall. Oh, we got a big four wide battle for the race lead. It's Mark Martin with it. Oh, Stewart up into John Andretti now. Oh my gosh, lots going on there. 
a four car battle for the race lead going into turn three ends up in a wreck for Tony Stewart watch as he tries to close down on Jeff Gordon Gordon's there then Gordon gets into John and Dreddy Jeff Gordon kind of in the mess of all this Jeff Gordon has one beat of race car right now got into the wall he's got fender damage to the nose but he's gonna stay out there and try and win this race Jeff Gordon is far beyond behind in these point standings with seven races to go so Mark Martin and Jeff Gordon will lead us to the green flag here and the green flag is back in the air Oh, Gordon looks to the inside immediately in Mark Martin, and Gordon will take that top spot. The beat and then battered DuPont Chevrolet to the lead here in Martinsville. Here comes Kyle Petty. Wow, what a run for Kyle Petty. He's up into the second position here, trying to get Jeff Gordon's bumper. Looks like Gordon's going to pull away here as we come to lap 12 of 18. Jeff Gordon starting to take command of this race as Mark Martin gets under Kyle Petty for that second position, and Mark Martin will take it. Here's we got six laps remaining in Martinsville. Oh, Dale Earnhardt gets into Michael Waltrip, goes around, and down into Bobby Labonte. Oh, no. Bobby Labonte at the top of the point standings. No more after today's race. Watch as Dale Earnhardt Sr. just runs over Michael Waltrip. Waltrip tries his best to kind of stay out of everyone's way, but the car just sulks down back into the racetrack. And right there is Bobby Labonte. Nowhere to go. Heartbreak for both drivers. Michael Waltrip had a great run going. But it gets ruined by the aggressive Dale Earnhardt Sr. So now four laps remain at the paper clip here. The green flag is back in the air. There's Jeff Gordon with a good restart. But Mark Martin just takes it to his outside. Gordon did everything right and Kyle Petty moves Mark Martin to the, out of the groove. Oh my goodness. Jeff Gordon now looking to the inside of Jeff Burton. Burton's up to second place now. Martin falling back to fourth. What a massive restart there by Kyle Petty to move Martin out of the way. Mark Martin made a great move on Jeff Gordon, but now we got some action with three laps to go. Jeff Burton to the inside of Kyle Petty for the race lead. Two laps remaining. Kyle Petty gets around Jeff Burton. And now Jeff Gordon to the inside of Burton. What a move. White flag is in the air. All over the back bumper is Jeff Gordon. Looking to the inside of turn three and four. They make contact again off a of four, and it's Kyle Petty barely going to get the race win over Jeff Gordon. What a race. So Kyle Petty wins the race at Martinsville. In exciting fashion over Jeff Gordon. Watch the Jeff Gordon's going to get a good run into three and four. Looks like he has the edge of Kyle Petty, but Kyle Petty... Wants this race so badly, kind of crowds Jeff Gordon there. Doesn't get let Gordon get the good runoff. And Kyle Petty takes that high lane and gets a mid-season boost with just about hit the halfway point. And Kyle Petty breaks into the top 10 in the point standings. So at the top is Mark Martin, Rusty Wallace is second, Jeff Burton third, Bobby Labonte fourth, Sterling Marlin is fifth, Dale Jarrett sixth, Kenny Irwin seventh, Dale Nart Sr. eighth, Mayfield ninth. And now he's your 11th through 12th. There's Jeff Gordon in 12th in the standings. Really needs to have a good recovery these last couple races if he wants to get back in this points battle. It is doable for Jeff Gordon fans. He can do it. Then there's Matt Kenseth filling in for Ricky Rudd. He moves that 10 team up to 22nd in the point standings. And then your 31st through 36th. So now your finishing results for the goodies. Body paying 250. First place today, Kyle Petty. Congrats to the boss man 78 on that well-deserved victory. Second place was Jeff Gordon. Third was Jeff Burton. Fourth place today, Dale Jarrett. And in fifth, Mark Martin. And in sixth place was Kenny Irwin. And in seventh today, Jeremy Mayfield. In eighth, getting a nice top 10 finish was the Intimidator, Dale Earnhardt, who moved his good friend Michael Waltrip today. Rusty Wallace climbs back for a top 10. There's, as I mentioned at the top of the show, Bobby Hamilton in his yellow Kodak Chevy gets a top 10. Good job. from Going from a black car to a yellow car mid-race. Never seen that happen before. All right, 12th was Wally Dawn back, by the way. Good rebound for him as he's had a lot of crashes this year. 15th was Gerard. Gerard Oren. Um, Jimmy Spencer in 15th. Uh, Terry Labonte, 16th. Bill Elliott, last week's winner, was 17th. Like he had a little momentum coming into Martinsville, but he's just not that good here at, at this racetrack. 20th was Ward Burton. And in 21st, Ken Schrader. 23rd today was Chad Little. Oh, sorry, 22nd was Chad Little. 23rd was Joe Nemechek. Here's Matt Kenseth getting 24th. They did not have a good day in that tide ride. Uh, struggled a lot. 
throughout this race. 26th was Kenny Walls. 27th was Elliot Sadler. And in 28th, Daryl Waltrip. 29th was Johnny Benson. 30th was Derek Cope. And 31st was Bobby Labonte. 32nd, Michael Waltrip. 33rd, Tony Stewart. And finishing last day was John Andretti, your pole sitter. Heartbreak for him. So next race, we move on to Darlington. The track that is too tough to tame. Thank you everybody for watching. This is JG24, James 6 signing off.